Okay, everybody, you're looking at a tardigrade, which is also known as a water bear. Now, it kind of looks like a scary monster, I know, but in fact, it's nearly microscopic in size. The biggest one's growing to maybe a millimeter long. Now, even though they're very small, they're classified as animals, and they have been on Earth for over 600 million years. That's 370 million years longer than the dinosaurs. They are also the most indestructible creature on our planet. Although they prefer cool, moist areas, they can survive in heat of over 300 degrees and in cold that is minus 458 degrees. This particular creature lives on every continent, in every sea, and in every type of climate, from the deepest levels of our ocean to the tops of our mountains. Now, how do they survive some of these harsh conditions? Well, tardigrades can expel virtually all the water out of their bodies and then they go into a hibernation state in which their body's metabolism slows to 0.01% of its normal rate. Now, last April, an Israelite lunar lander went to the moon and on board were some of these tardigrades. Now, unfortunately, the lunar crashed, but scientists say that the tardigrades most likely survived. They were already in their hibernation state, so they're just up there, basically asleep, on the moon. Which will make them the first long-term lunar residents. All it will take is a little bit of moisture, and they will awaken. Now, scientists already know that they can survive 30 years in this hibernated state, so it could happen. In 30 years, it's not unrealistic to think that we will have colonies on the moon, and uh, I can see them being awakened and they will stake their claim as the first moon residents. So, uh, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? What do you guys think? Comment below as usual. Throw it out.